This is such a good song. Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I, uh, I painted some today. I did the laundry. I did a bunch of, like, random stuff that needed to be done. I'm pretty happy with how this painting's coming. It's just the ender painting. But, you know, it's coming along. You know? And, um... This is, like, the part of the painting where I'm like, Ooh, actually, this sucks cock. But still, but still. I'm like, man, you know what? No, 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 hold up. I'm always like this, and then it's fine. And then I just heard a crash to my right, and I'm gonna look over there. And it's nothing. Okay. That's always a frightening sound. Um, is this the end? I don't know. Uh, could be. Could be. Today is Ghost Trick Day, which is why we're a little bit live early. Today is 5.17 Central Standard Time. Now, I found out today that apparently um, not all places celebrate it. Celebrate it. Um, so, for those of you not aware, America in spring springs forward one hour. So, if it was originally 1 o'clock, now it's 2 o'clock. Um, and then uh, for... Um, fall you fall backward one hour um so if it was one now it's noon this is um this is theoretically good i i think i think someone could probably explain why this is a good idea um but for whatever reason, that's the way it is. Stravinia, thank you for the nine months of support. That is a very long time. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, uh, the... Oh, Mafa, holy shit. How are you doing, dude? I'm wondering now if uh, streaming at this time will be helpful. See, now it's going to... Like, I don't know. So many different variables. We still need the rev feed emote. Sure. So, um, if you see the videos going live at, like, 12, what would have been 12 or 2 Central Standard Time? What the fuck? Okay, just set your watch, knowing that everything is an hour backwards for me. So, whatever time you think that I'm supposed to start at, I'm going to start an hour earlier than that. Except for Ghost Trick, which is going to be two hours earlier than that, because I'm trying to see if this time zone works better for people. Theoretically, this will be a good time zone for European people, sort of. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that, weirdo. But hopefully, it gets better. I'm going to check one thing real quick before we get into this, because I probably won't be able to talk this whole stream. Um, oh, one thing I should mention... Um, the Humble Bundle, and I should say this, I don't, I'm not sponsored by the Humble Bundle. But the Humble Bundle currently has the Humble Sakura Collection Bundle. So if you just like fucking want to jerk off to anime titties, it's on a good sale right now. Well, thank you, Mafa. 55 months? Was that what it said? Fucking hell, dude. Lynn kept her promise to, about getting me hooked up. It's about two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Mafa, thank you for giving out the, the gift sub. Hopefully that helps your day out a little bit there, weirdo. 55 is a long time all the same, Mafa. Hello? This is Jode. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I don't remember what was happening last time, I'll be honest. It, it, it's been a minute. Well, thank you, Fraser Place. Well, you better get going. A long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, it looks like it. Fraser plays when you were when you hosted me yesterday when we were streaming. Um, we had just gotten done talking about the Fraser SNES video game that definitely exists. Um, and it, it for a minute I was like, "Is this dude real?" But no, Fraser is an actual name that people could have. It's just 
unrelated to that, we were talking about that. So there we go. Mafa, you're a solid fucking dude. You know that? What is this overlay? It's a uh, rev feet. Um, not Sissel got away. Camilla is still kidnapped. Lynn, Jode, and Cabanella are tracking him down. And Sissel told uh, and told Sissel to wait up. Now this has happened. Okay, cool. I'm I'm the one you should be thanking you. At the end of the end of the phone line, I'm finally gonna find my answers. I'd better go. How much, uh, how much gameplay is left here? Like, how many hours do you guys think? A single telephone line connects me to the other Sissel, but, in the other, but a single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. Uh, how did me and Yol meet? Um, I had been streaming on Vine Sauce for a bit, and then uh, Yol was kind of a regular for a bit. Uh, started gifting um, the streamers at the time like games and stuff and we were kind of loose about who could stream so we we're like all right and he streams um and that's how we met uh, me and Vinny and jen or i think the original crew ima came slightly before uh yul and then hootie was after that and there uh dar was in there somewhere and a couple other people came and went um this you know the original vine sauce crew has changed a couple times but uh this is you know, more or less the original crew still. So I met him about 10 years ago. I just reached the center of the web. About two streams worth? Okay. Well, I'll probably stream this again on Thursday and wrap it up then. Host trick, thank you for the sub. Uh, save enough to make that flat. Welcome to Yon, Yon, Yona, Detective Jode. So how the fuck did he get on the, what? Detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. It's because I switched off the power to my mask, Detective Jode. I used your phone, I hope you don't mind. Slap. So much character to this animation. So how did he get into the submarine? They probably docked somewhere. I was gonna say, like, you can't just like casually get into a submarine. Like everyone on board's gonna know if someone opens the submarine from the outside. Plus, like, water pressure is a thing, but they he probably just snuck on at some point. Or maybe this is a fucking video game. Herman, did you just slap me? Why? I love you though. Why would you slap me? Cat. God, I never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you are a death row inmate. Now, I'm equally surprised by your choice of some transporter. A submarine, eh? That's how you pronounce that word. But how'd you find us, my man? Not even the police knew where Yona. Yo. Noah? You Noah? Was going to surface, confound it. Okay, it literally explained it like three sentences later. We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about the case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. I'm fucking sure, okay. Have a little something for you. That transition to avoid having them actually make hand-to-hand -hand contact. God, I remember 64 games just had things just like teleport from one hand to another. It was foreshadowed at the time. Okay. Gamanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past. They always prove useful. This one was a radio transceiver that was made to look like a pocket watch. Herman? What are you doing? You're a wild boy today, you know that? Do you want me to throw the puzzle? Is that what this is about? Here. Okay. That was what that was. 
Inspector Cabanella, I hear he's a great, excellent investigator. By the way, where is that man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Sissel, what do you mean? I, I feel like the, like, like, I don't really understand daylight savings time. It's supposed to be so that way you can have more time to work if you work in fields, I guess. But, like, I can tell you the number of times that I've worked in the field. Like, an actual physical, like, you know, crop field on on zero hands. I don't think I've ever done that, ever. Because it's, it's 2020, and we've divided labor to the point that you don't have to do that. Um, it's It feels a bit outdated. It's made to save electricity. Like, I don't fucking have all my appliances on all the goddamn time. Uh, like, who... Mm, you know? So, so, I mean, like, what about if I want to go out and get drunk at night? There's a construct from time uh, when electricity wasn't a thing and people were dependent on sunlight. Yeah, I think that was it. I think that was it. And then it's just like, ah, uh, you burn in so much candles. So many candles. Just quickly transition. I'm gonna, um... Um... Mike wanted to do a co-op thing, and uh, I didn't read that until like 10 minutes before I went live. Okay, we'll probably do it next week. All right, cool. Sissel, you mean? Sorry for everyone who's actually trying to pay attention to the storyline. There's no good time to do that, but I honestly didn't. Oh? You. Me. I want to do that at some point. I want someone to be like, you. And me go, me. Sorry. You can relax. There's nothing but his shell. His shell, huh? The spirit isn't here right now. Most likely right about now. He's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please let her go. Bah. What chapter is this? Um, the one after the last one. Um, that I did. I don't know which one that is. There's something our nation needs, this whole has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear Sissel has underestimated us. He left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought that went somewhere else. Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer. The source of his powers. What? What in the world was that? A Temesque fragment. It gives the spirit special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? What a mistake to make right at the most critical moment. Now then, Jode. Farewell. Launched out to sea? What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jode, where'd he go? Where was I during this? What is happening? What well, now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and that little lady should be around here somewhere. I smell danger. I'd better find them, and fast. Like, it's one of those, like, safety things. What is this? Who are you? 
Siri too, huh? It's missile! Yeah! Yes. I think I, even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. Honestly, the, like, ship shooting out, like, a section of it reminds me of Lupin as well. Hey, Luigi guy. What was my memory loss? I can't say I'm much better. Anyway. Let's hurry up and go save Liz Lynn and Miss Camilla. Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff out them out? I'm sorry to say that I don't think it can. Why did I even bother to ask? He's, I don't know if he even has a nose anymore, but you do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that detective lady. That little, that lady detective and that little lady together. You got it. The telephone's ringing. Wow! Miss Camilla, I just know it. With my trusty nose, it's practically screaming at me. I think you call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet! Oh, are we on a timer? Okay, we're not. Good. At least we have that going for us. All right, so you're gonna have to swap something. Oh, oh, there we go. Interesting. That's not where I thought I was going with this. Okay, and then... Touch the balls, I'm touching the balls. They're hanging in the sack. I think we just heard another explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sissel, look! That black hello. It came off the hook. Uh-oh, I better answer it fast. Feels scripted that it's to this point. Hello, is anyone there? It's her, it's the little lady. Sissel, where are you? Wait, he can talk on the phone? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. Okay, that answers that question. I literally should just like, click the next line as I'm saying something stupid, you know? Because most of the time, yeah. You too, huh? Oh good, I thought it, she was just ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn, Lynn is, she said Lynn? Miss Lynn! We better hurry. Let's go, Sissel. Uh, yeah, let's go there. That's probably what we need to do. Is there ever a reason to not go there? It feels like that's... Are you dead again? God damn it! God damn it! Stop it! It's no use. Nobody's answering. Miss? Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn? Oh, poor Miss Lynn! Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like she's had another tragic tragedy. Close enough. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come. Miss Camilla, Miss Camilla. Missile too. I'm glad to see you're all right. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all right exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. Yeah, you died once. It's kind of fucked up. What, my voice? That's right, Miss Camilla has a core now, so that means she did hear Missile's voice before when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. God, fucking good dog. Just good dog. If I've learned anything about this, I don't understand half the plot, but dog is good. Hey, Missile. Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? No? Huh? But you don't need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I, I'll do it. There's some like, um, so Austin had this grocery bag banned for a bit. And so he bought a whole bunch of like tote bags. Tilda needed the car like empty so that way she could move stuff for work stuff. Um, 
And uh, so we put all of them on the couch and they make rustly sounds. So both the cats have just been running in and out of them, causing havoc. And it makes little rustling sounds. So I keep looking over being like, what the fuck did you break? It's like, no, it's fine. Thank you, Missile. I can keep worrying that they broke something and it's like, no, it's okay. I wonder what happened this time. I'd better talk to the little lady a bit more, but then I'd better do something about the detective lady. Uh, alright, fine. Are there alternate ends to this, or is it just like the one end? Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy? Could you tell me what happened to you? This might help, actually. One end. Okay, cool. So there's no wrong choices, it's just you didn't do the puzzle right. That's fine. What happened after I lost you, uh, when I last saw you at your old house? Let's see, after that, I think I fell asleep. It reminds me of, like, the Clue movie. You know? Did anyone see that? That one was great. The gimmick they had when they put it in the movie theater was, like, the last scene, um, had multiple different versions, and so they just switch out which reel it was, like, randomly on the showings. So if someone, like, went and saw it, they could go tell someone that they saw it, and then they were like, ah, it was Mr. Plum. Or whatever. And then, like, someone else goes and watches it, and it's like, it's not Professor Plum, it was, you know, fucking Miss White, or whatever. And everyone, like, it, it was such a cool idea. The DVD of it randomly plays one of the ends once you get there. We own it. It's great. It's really cool. Um... But unfortunately, it means that, as far as I know, there's no canon ending. But the rest of the movie plays out normally. And they explain it, and they're like, oh my god, that works. It fits the game it's based off of. Yeah, it's such a... It's a hokey movie. Um, it's good, though. I woke up to the sound of an engine. Sure, he already was in the submarine by then. And I had thought to myself, I have to escape. Next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. So tired I couldn't move, and then... Camilla! I was so relieved. I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out. Poor thing. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Miss, I think Lynn probably has been through more than me. The Clue movie, listen, if you watch it, just be ready to like, it's campy as fuck. It's not like, it's not, it's not good. Like, you're not going to be like, my God, my life has changed for having seen this movie. But like, it is good in the like, this is a fun time, you know? You've both been brave. And I assume I can't just get to her? No, I have to turn this thing. Is that a bad thing to do? Alright. I swear to fucking God, what'd you do? What happened? I don't know. Huh? Just sort of blacked out all of a sudden, the next thing I knew I was dead. Wow, having fucking deja vu, and by deja vu I mean... Stop! Yeah, I guess I wouldn't know. In that case... And where is Detective Jode? Is he alright? Oh. Huh? The room he was in just suddenly disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's making even less sense than before. After we left the superintendent's office, we followed after a man in red. We tracked him on the radio transmitter. Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from the small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Joe and I managed to secretly stow away on that boat and then sneaked into onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Joe and I decided to split up. I would take care of the telephone line and I would look for Camilla. He would take care- okay, whatever. I found Camilla hiding in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. There was a really cool DVD that I got. It was like a trial one, but it was like, 
choose your own adventure, but use like DVD stuff. And so like it, a scene would happen and then it would be like, choose one of these options. And you'd pick one and then it'd skip to that scene on the DVD. It worked like a choose your own adventure book, but it was a movie and it was really shittily done and it was D&D &D inspired. So, you know, I think it was 3D animated. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? They gave away like free copies of it. It was cool though. It was, it was very cool. I enjoyed it as a kid because I was a fucking nerd. Was in the past tense because I'm not anymore. I'll have you know that I only spent a little bit of time today thinking about Warhammer. Um, so I'm not that much of a nerd. Anyway, wow, that's quite the adventure. What happened next? I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white and all of a sudden the next thing I know I'm dead. What's well, a little... Like, hour two. Shut up. Anyway, oh boy, it sounds like it was quicker for me to see myself. Alright. Camilla, are you okay? What? Camilla? Oh, is she possessed by evil? Hello, Lynn, or is it detective now? It's been 10 years since we last met. Are you? Are you really the man from that park 10 years ago? Camilla's got a fucking gun! Well, well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back! She has nothing to do with any of this. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone's ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. That's a rad sprite. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Well, knowing him, I, have ex I expected it half expected as much that's why I waited here like this waiting for him to show up when it just would it be just what he wanted to be executed by his own daughter I heard about 10 years ago and I feel sorry about what happened to you but revenge nobody one could nobody could possibly know what I've like the gangster like holding the rifle with like the Tommy gun with one goddamn hand like that's rad that's that's good that's good right there also um I should mention and I don't know who here cares but I'm gonna say it anyway I think what we're gonna do for town of nowhere from here on out is we're gonna do on Thursdays but not this Thursday um, I want to have some time to finish this painting and work on some stuff for it. So, um, maybe next Thursday, not this coming one, but the next one. Um, and that, that should be a good day. Um, and then I need to catch up on Homestuck at some point this week and have something for a video this week. We might do it every other Thursday for a bit, if that's okay. Just because it's kind of stressful when it's like, I got to do this and art and stream and town of nowhere. I'd rather just enjoy it and give you guys some time to theorize and think about things and gain some points. Um, I think it's good. I think you'll need some for the next couple of streams. You'll really want to hoard it for the next couple of streams. But you do you. Anyway, won the world an explosion. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out! I see. Revenge, huh? That was a feeling I can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? I was going to shoot. He was going to shoot Detective Jode. As Camilla, when he came to rescue her. She's too horrible. When's next? Uh, not this coming Thursday. The next Thursday. Um, I'll see you later, man. Or Lady Pedantic. I should see you 
later. There we go. I'm great. I'm doing this. I'm making it happen. Anyway, let's uh bring you back to life again. You didn't have to add the again part. Well, this has been five times. I feel like I can be a little bit fucking, you know, snippy about it. I feel like I d I'm owed that. The day before Doom and Animal Crossing. Yeah. It's probably a good day to do it. Alright. What do I have access to? Alright, what happened even? We need to basically stop the explosion from happening. Right? So... Uh, oh, this is a problem. I don't have access to... Oh, no. Alright. So let's see. The cause of the death this time was a mysterious explosion. Pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. What do you mean for a dead woman? You're dead. That's literally why that's why we're fucking here. Anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. Okay. So Herman has now decided to put like a little fuzzy pom-pom, one of his favorite toys, in the bag, and then fight the bag for the fuzzle. Um, and uh, it's making a lot of noise and it keeps spooking me because I think he's like falling off of shit or something, but he's fine. It's just like, Jesus fuck, what, what'd you do? It's, it's like, you're good. He's a smart boy. He's like, he wants a challenge, so he makes it harder for himself. Um, I'm afraid, with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. And then the gun. I was wondering what the fuck she had. I was like, what is that coming up? It's been 10 years. All right, do I have anything to latch onto? Oh, the gun. Are you? Can you be a little bit closer? Okay, what part can I grab onto? It's like the magazine. And the magazine needs to be uh, roughly level with that bit there. Okay. We've already read all this. I can skip the dot dot dots, right? It's the, the XXXs that I have to do. Here it is. There. Perfect. All right, now I can move. All right, where does this get us? Who is this, anyway? I thought I could use the phone in the past if somebody was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the hook first, silly. Well, don't look at me. I can't do it. I don't have any hands or feet right now. Somebody please answer the phone. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Okay. Uh, what does that give us access to? So we can turn these. Who knows what this does? Let's cause problems. Oh, there we go. That's not what I thought it would do, but that works. Hey, somehow you managed to knock off the receiver. Even Luigi guy is into rev feet. He's like, yeah, rev feet, great idea. If something, all right. It looks like we're gonna have to remove something in order to add red feet. So if you want rev feet, you're gonna have to tell me which one has to go. Rev no? No. 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 I, I, I. Why is the emote broken? Rev feet? It's not a thing yet, but it could be. I don't know. If you get rid of bite for feet, I'm gonna scream. Fair? Um. Somehow. Somehow managed. Who's to say I didn't plan it? Come on, hurry. Now you're sh ah, now's your chance to get on the phone. Sorry, I cannot talk today. It might be the detective. She's right. I better check it out. Alright. Let's see who this is. Hello, anybody there? If anyone's there, Get yourself here. On the double, we're about to head out. Speak up, why don't you answer? Anyway, if you're coming, we're leaving. Uh, sure. Let's go there. 
I don't know if this solves this, this problem or not. Can we just yeah. make it so that way the switches don't work? So it must be true what they say. That there are restless ghosts on board. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. Who's he calling restless ghost? You! You keep dying. You keep being dead, which makes you a ghost. You're a ghost. Stop being that way. Well, it's true. Neither one of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess that means that the fate of this sub has changed slightly. I don't, I don't really feel like I did anything to cause that hat. And I guess I did. Sissel has underestimated us. He left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Yeah, that, that first time I saw that was not all right. That's weird. It's Detective Jode, was he, what's going on here? I saw a little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in the red is about to be, uh, about to have his Tomesk fragment taken away. Who knows what these do? Let's cause problems, I don't know. Won't budge. Maybe it's broken? Oh well, I guess I don't have to lower it right now. And even if I had to move it, I'd probably need to get Lynn to do it for me. Uh, and let me guess, I can't do this one either. Nothing happens. Okay. I don't get it. What's happening? They decided to conclude the deal without any other... with the other party present. They're gonna go ahead and steal the Tomesk fragment. But that's, that's cheating. That's illegal. I think we have more important things to think about right now. Oh, thank you, Luxray. I hope you have a good day. Where's the Tomesk fra fragment going to go? Okay, well, I mean, we'll find that out. I just wanted to see if I could do anything about that first. I probably like pop this and then it bounces the ball. Oh, I see. All right, cool. We'll give it another go. I know what's going on now. And then just once it uh, at the top of the arc, boom, jump in there. And then, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing from here. Do I turn this? All right, let's try doing that and then knocking the ball again. Oh. Fuck. And I screwed it up, so we're gonna have to do it over again. That's what I was trying to get. Well. I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna make some mistakes like that. It's just gonna happen. Yeah, that just looks so weird. Like, the perspective seems off. Okay, well, you know, I did press it, right? Damn it. Gotta wait for it to come back. Okay, now I can just hang out here. All right, what is this? There's another phone? Oh right, it's in the conveyor system. All right, well let's be in this capsule. Might be important, I don't know. This is a mess fragment. You're mine at last. The objective has been achieved. Now we detach the control room as planned. Yes, farewell, sir.
Thistle, what happened? Well, we did a tr screen transition and then they're gone. The whole room disappeared with Detective Jode in it. Don't worry, Lynn. A Detective Jode can take care of himself. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. Can't believe this is happening. Now then, I'd better hurry along before Sissel discovers he's lost and comes after me. The Yona will be his coffin. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. Oh, all the crew is crammed in there. I was wondering what that was. Like, everyone jumped into the escape pod. I thought they were just, like, leaving them to die, but no, it's like the one guy's in there. He's fine. And so that's the cause of the giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me there's another thing you've forgotten. It's a torpedo. It's like, have you heard of, like, a missile before, haven't you? The dog? Yeah, sure. There's a different kind of missile comes readily to mind. Looks like he's planning to sink that submarine with that thing. And this is not good. We have to do something about it before that torpedo is fired. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got access to. Uh, boy, howdy, that better work. Okay. This feels, nope, I feel like I'm doing it wrong already. Can I, can I do anything? There's no time, it's gonna launch. Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it. What, how? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope. Why was, I hope, at the end of the, at the end, the strongest part of that sentence. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Just stop the fucking missile. What an unfortunate place to be as a rat. Came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was it really the best move? Probably not. I think so. You also have died five times in the last 24 hours. I only did that once and it was your fault. Probably, not really, kind of. Listen, I'm gonna blame you slightly because your hand pulled the trigger. It wasn't really your fault. I'm sorry. I'm just upset. I've had a day. I've had a bit of a day, and I'm a little bit mad at you. We're just going to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us, too. How in the world did it get in here, anyway? It's a good goddamn question. All right. What even do we have? I think the outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. Uh-huh. Spinning black things, right? Apparently, their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. It must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use the weights to our advantage somehow. Okay. All right, let's, uh... It's probably the detonator. Hey, don't press it. The torpedo will explode. Better be careful. Just so you know, there should be a safety device around here somewhere. Safety device? That sounds promising. We have to put the yeah, safety device on before this thing blows up. Okay, got it. Joint operate? Probably this. Clamps the thing, prevents the thing. Mouse move. Looks like just one thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. What does that mean exactly? Means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding on this. I'm in the hospital. Jesus Christ, are you okay, uh, Ego? You all right, man? I'd have to admit, I don't understand all the details. That's what he said, not what was going on in chat. You all right, man? But I want to give it a try. But before we can do that, looks like we have to get something out of the way first. Um... Can we just, like, stop the gyroscope to, like, make the... Um... I, I think the intention is to flip the, the thing. So maybe we just...
Can you can you move? Right, you need to move. I think uh I think I fucked it. Rat, you're you're being a problem right now. You're going to die too, rat. I'm doing my best to save you. You just need to move. We're almost out of time. At this rate, we're going to blow up the submarine. Uh oh, we have to safely set that. We have to set that safety and keep the torpedo from detonating. God damn it! Squish! God damn, why are you strong? You're gonna die! Stubborn little thing, isn't it? Quite a worthy adversary. You do know the rat is the main isn't the main focus here, right? Okay, true. But until it's out of the way, we can't use set the safety device. You're right. If only our missile was here right now. We'd have We'd have to get this creature to leave somehow. I don't think it can leave. It's stuck inside of the thing. I'm gonna try just like... I've tried disbalancing it, and that doesn't work. Oh no, we're out of time. Damn it, we couldn't stop it. I'm sorry, Camilla. I'm sorry, me. I'm sorry, rat. On the world, an explosion. Got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? All right, well, that does explain quite a few things. This is bad. We couldn't stop the torpedo from launching. Don't worry, if we can stop it from going off, there's still hope, right? Our missile doesn't have one, but this must have some kind or. But these usually have some kind of safety device. It sounds like safety devices are our only hope. I guess we'd better rewind. Yeah, I guess. I'm sad for the rat because the rat didn't do anything. All right, so we, we don't have a lot of options here. All right, so I'm gonna try the stopping the gyroscope at the top thing. Stop both of them at the same time. Okay. Good. That's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't get it to do it right. I tried bottom first, and that was wrong. Always be a top, guys. That's the way to do this. Tops first, then bottoms. Wow, those weights were really heavy. Enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. Should be nothing to stop me now, right? And safe. There we go. Clamp the safety device on. We did it. It should keep the torpedo from exploding. There's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh-oh. What was that noise? Looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine's okay. Changes everybody's fate, including that little rat's. Sissel, we did it! What's the matter? You still look unhappy. Yeah, you're alive. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up. But we still opened up a gaping hole into the submarine. You're right, I guess. But I guess that's just what missiles are supposed to do. They're unstoppable. Am I hearing things? Anyway, we better get back to the present as quickly as possible. Right, I'm worried about Camilla. We managed to stop the death, stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. Now we only, now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. The water's seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hid. 
I've got to get them out of here. Better meet up with Lynn. Was it Nightfire that had this, like, um... It had the mission where you could, um... Like, at the end where you, it was like a sinking ship. Does anyone remember that? It's a cool mission. Really hard on, like, double-O agent, though. Really hope you like precision. Oh, I fucking don't. The lights went out, but apparently this machine still works. Um, so it doesn't have a really set, set schedule, uh, super fighting robot. I did mention it earlier in the stream, but, um, I, I, you know, I should probably mention it on the Reddit. I'll remember to do that afterwards. Anyway, um, I think next Thursday, not like in a couple of days here Thursday, but Thursday the 19th, I'll do it. Unless if that's, uh, is that Animal Crossing Day? Because no one's going to want to watch that on that day. I, I think I've got most of the stuff ready for this next one. Um, there's just a couple of things that I want to, like, get together. And I just don't want to worry. The 20th is. Okay, cool. So that'll give you guys something to worry about. Because there's not midnight li releases for uh, Animal Crossing. You guys will have to wait anyway. So it'll give you guys something to look forward to. Um, uh, the Reddit blew up after that last episode. Like, lots of theories. Very interesting to read as the person who made it and knows what actually is happening. It's very cool. Um, unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. Maybe I can use its movements to help me create a path. Alright. Oh, this is going to suck cock, isn't it? All right, so <sighs> I better hurry over to land. It's not safe to stay here. I just don't have the power to stop water coming in. All right, well, yeah, I mean, I'm going for it. And then from here, I guess I clamp onto something. Who knows what? Is it like a, I need to be on the other? Th oh no. I missed it. Yeah, I missed it. It's gonna go back into position. Yeah, and there's something over there that I get to from here. Oh, I hate this. This is gonna be real bad. Alright. And then from here, what do we do? Uh. All right. What are these things? Pipes? Looks like a pipe. It's made out of glass. I see cracks in the glass. Can't fix them, but I guess I'll, I don't have to. Okay. I'm going to assume that these will move, so I'm going to go ahead and get up as far as I can. And then... Nothing? Alright. Well, I got over there, I guess. Maybe that's what I wanted. Are you gonna still try and pull a gun? No. Lynn. Camilla, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. It's not your fault, though. It's not your fault. It's okay. You didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. That wasn't you. Miss Camilla. Oh, Missile, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camilla. What should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. So happy everyone's going to be with me now.
Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as the case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here. Before it's too late. Where'd the gun go? Oh, I can just... Oh, that looks like a flashlight. It's Sissel, he's here. That was easy. I'm glad she understood. Is this waterline actually like a thing that they're dealing with? It is, okay. I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Is that what the letter was? Nice. Tilda just walked in. Um, sorry for the wait. Looks like the room is going to fill up with water fast. Yeah, where the gun go is a concerning thing. Because, like, why is it gone? It's a big gun. It's missing now. Someone was just pointing at someone else. And they're both right next to each other. And friends again, theoretically. And maybe not friends. I don't know. Maybe he's just messing with her. Like, we don't know. And so that's danger. Um, we'd better get out that door as quick as we can. We won't be getting out of that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as a force of water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out is up. Exactly. Is the rat okay? Okay, I got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. Maybe the ladder? Yeah, the, the, the ladder, honey. There you go. Hey, I wonder... Look at that ladder. I wonder if we can get to it so, down somehow. Good to try... Yeah, good idea. Let's try. Oh, and by the way... Yes? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Don't you have any good news? For, okay, well, I mean, like, I don't think it'll matter at the bottom of the ocean. I don't think whether or not you can swim will help you if you're at the bottom of the goddamn ocean. Let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? Hey, is it alright with you guys if I take the quick BRB right now? I know this is... I mean, it's about an... It's, yeah, it's about an hour since I started. Um, I, my, my wife just walked in and I want to, like, say hello to her real quick. Is that cool? I'll be right back. Here's the BRB screen. Uh, today's Chrono game is My Memory of Us. No idea what it is. The aesthetic looks nice. The aesthetic, like, the little, like, um, just image up at the top on the chrono.gg slash revscarecrow page looks really cool. No idea what that is. Looks cool, though. Aw. Give it a look. It's like 350. 80% off what its regular price is. Anyway, I'm gonna um I'm gonna go. Uh BRB. Two minutes. BRB.
I forgot to say change it to the BRB screen, didn't I? And you guys just stared at the game screen for a minute. Whatever. It's a good game. Um, anyway, how are you guys doing? Let's get back into it. Alright, so what are my options here? Turn handle? I mean, I don't have a lot of things that I can do right now, so maybe that's the thing I do. Okay. Steam to do glove to open fuse box to lower switch. There we go. There's the ladder. Alright, cool. You changed the screen, but it went back to the game for no reason whatsoever. Huh. Maybe I'm just dumb. You did it, Sissel. Thanks. Can I just say how, like... Like, that's hard. Carrying a child and climbing a ladder sideways. Like, try and do that. Try and climb a ladder one-handed while you're carrying, like, a sack of potatoes on your back. It's approximately a child. Uh, what was that? Looks like the water seeping isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Sissel, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe my contact... Maybe the contacts are bad or something. Hey, I know. You can fix it with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Fix? Is that an option? Who's that? I don't know if you know this, but I don't- I really don't like the dark. You never mentioned that before. Not only that, but I can't swim, neither can Camilla. No, I know that bit. You have mentioned that. Flashlight that Lynn's holding. I wonder if I can use my powers to turn it on. I don't know, maybe? There you go, fix it. You just not know how to flick it? Do you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? It's a cruel question, considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do... ...is to get that door and we'll be safe. Oh, great. Oh, this looks fun. They did this bit just to make you jump back into the flashlights. That way you'd be where you needed to be. Fair enough. What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. Can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky or we're dead and I just haven't realized it yet. Come on now. As if the latter could be true. You're dead. Well, I mean, that seems incredibly likely, actually. Oh, good. A puzzle where water rises. Hey guys, it's everyone's fucking favorite. It's a water level. A water escort level. And a puzzle game. Solve a puzzle in a limited amount of time to do the water mission. With an escort mission. Yay. Do you like barbecue on your pizza? Yes. I like it on my uh, burgers more though. What now? Water sure is rising fast. Come on. You just have to go up, up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Alright. Well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sissel, are you there? There you are. How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it's going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous the situation is, don't you? Of course, after all. Just ask anyone who knows me. I hate taking a bath. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Barbecue and some jalapenos and some cheddar cheese on a burger. That's, that's, that is a good ass bird. Some onions, fried preferably. Mmm, it's good. Like onion rings. Oh God, that sounds good. Okay, let's get ready to create a path for these ladies. Of course. That's how you do a rev burger. All right. So I guess we're gonna have to be missile because um, 
I don't know what we have access to here. We can swap these. Sure. And this will help, I guess. I'm just doing things right now to see if there's anything I can do about it. Okay. Looks like it can move around quite a bit, but I don't know if a lot of it will achieve anything. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck this up. All right, yeah, no, I've explored and, uh... I don't see anywhere I can go from here, so... Thank you. Needed that. Uh. All right. Uh, I don't know how that helps. All right. We moved a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it achieved anything. So missile doesn't move when the swap happens. That's something that I need to keep in mind. And then does this make the hitbox for like teleporting easier to get to? Probably not. Maybe though. Y'all don't have to help, I got this. So I can bounce between all these different bits and like the torpedo bits and all of this. Can mods put tags on stream? Uh, they can, but also spoilers is already, no, it's not. No spoilers, um, lines play through. I apparently took them off. So, okay. All right. Do we need an emote? Nah. All right. All right. Can Cecil or Cecil do anything? Can he interact with any of this? He can operate this. Okay. That's the thing I could do. Don't, don't do whatever you're thinking of doing here. Those pistons sinking out, out in front of me. It's almost like they're taunting me. Maybe it's a challenge? It might just be that. Think you can climb them? Hmm. If I wasn't holding Camilla, I could probably do it easily. Sissel, you, you, you're not telling Ms. Lynn to leave Miss Camilla behind, are you? Be quiet for just a minute, Missile. These pistons sure do look like they could be used in our advantage. Okay. This water's still rising. It's up to my knees, and it's freezing cold. Hold on. We better create a path fast. Hang on there, Miss Lynn. Thanks, Missile. Okay. All right. What does that give us the ability to do from here? What can we swap? That would make this better. Anything? Nothing that I see right now. I'm gonna, um, 
I'm gonna head back up, see if I can get there. Maybe there's something else that I'm missing. Okay. Alright, try operate. Can I can I be a part of this life while this is moving or is it no no no. And it just goes back. <sighs> Looks like how much the piston thrust out is related to how large the fans are. Miss Sissel, my arms are full, but my legs are free. Could you just move these pistons so they're a little easier to climb? I think that could do it. I see. We need three different sizes of fans. Oh, I see. All right. That's the puzzle then. And we're actually pretty close to the correct answer already. This should be right, right? Music kind of has a little bit of a, a dongrampa like choir thing going on. There you go. How about that? This is great. You made a staircase for me. Better hurry. I don't think that water's gonna wait for you. That's easy. Once it told me what was happening, I was like, all right. I didn't realize that that was there was like a correlation there, but just randomly tricking things around worked. So there you go. Also, she's not even climbing a ladder anymore. That's just like railing. Holy fuck, girl. How do you die that easily? All right, so this is gonna be switching the uh, steam around so that way it's pointed away from her. It's too hot to get through. What? There's no way to go around either. Think you could do something? Of course we can. We have to. Yeah, she's a detective, but I just, I don't know. I, I have very little faith in her as like an individual, I'll be honest. All right, can we use this to get up? All right, well. I'd imagine. Okay, that didn't change much. If we swap the pipes, it changes how the steam comes out. Because the... Right. I bet this will come in handy. Yeah, okay. So then we swap these two. And then... God, this is this is a this is a toughie. All right. Okay. Nope. Nope. I've made that worse. Okay. Those are both going in both directions. Um. Is there another pipe that I could switch in? Because these all seem to be bad for this. I don't think Sissel can get up here yet, so it's got to be a uh, one of these puzzles. Here comes the water again. I wish I could drink it all up for you. No missile, it's too salty. I think a more relevant point is he's dead, so he can't drink it. Whatever, just do something about the steam. Leave it to me, Miss Lynn. Thanks, Missile. Okay. I want to say there's another um, one of these about, right? Where is it? It's all the way the fuck down here. How the fuck do you get up, though? Maybe you don't. Oh, that's a transformer. Vibe check the water. No, it's not the time or the place. Ah. Uh. Mm. 
Okay. This one's gonna take a little thinking. I feel like I have to do this first. But it doesn't, it just, ah. I feel like I did that right, so maybe that's not it. So because I feel like I pressed the button right, I'm gonna assume that like I did that right, but it just didn't work. All right, let's see if that's better. Can you go through now? No, that's still pretty bad. Okay. So that one's good. Being there. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I bet it's like this. I got it. We swap like this, and then we swap like this. And then from there, we do something. I don't know. I'd have to double check it and make sure it's good, but how does that look? Okay, I've got it. Game, let me, let me. The water is getting really close now. Not that I can see all that well with the steam here. Missile, switch the pipes around so you can get across. That's right. Don't give up, Miss Lynn. No, I got this. My back is really starting to hurt. Okay. It just took me a minute to get the idea of what I was doing. That should be good now, though, right? Nope. Okay. Is that that is that okay now? There's barely any seam. There's gonna be some, okay? Like I can't stop that. Imagine getting scalded by steam or drowning to death. It's no warm mist. It's boiling hot steam. Anyway, it looks like you're the key player for this one, missile. But I don't think my powers alone are gonna be enough. Yeah. Okay, at least it's starting me here. That's good. Wait, who am I? Wait, how the fuck did I get up here? Well, no, 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 this is a completely different situation now. You need Sissel with you. How the fuck did I get up here, though? Hold up. All right, well, whatever. That solves that puzzle. You're supposed to go up there before. Um. So how, okay, since I can't do that anymore, how am I supposed, to, how was I supposed to have gotten up here? Was it through this piping thing? So by closing off the valve, I shut off the steam for the first pipe. Okay. Okay, come on, game. The same way you did after the missile impact. I tried doing that, but I felt like the timing was wrong. Like, it didn't work. Like, I... I yeah, so it was just like the other part. You know what? The game allowed me to do it, so I'm not going to complain. It. That's what I was trying to do when I was like, I guess I can't do that anymore. So I'm going to keep trying to mess around with things. Okay. That's exactly it. Your timing is wrong. That's fine. All right. Is that good now? No. Sissel, you might have to just, like, stand out of the way for a minute while Missile, like, does the actual heavy lifting. Missile is just kind of better than you, I hate to say. All right. Can, can you try and move? Okay. So it's got to be that I got to turn off another valve or something. So 
Switch doesn't do anything. Glove doesn't do anything. Open box, move, hoist. Sure. Okay, there's the solution there. You just gotta get to it. Definitely gonna lose again. I'm not even reading chat at this point. I'm gonna probably lose. Okay. I can't budge it, it must be stuck or something. I guess we'll have to wait for Lynn to use her miraculous power on it. But first we have to get her up here. Okay. Okay, so we close that. I'm definitely gonna lose again. I'm just gonna try and learn as much right now as possible and go from there. Because that's really the only chance I've got, is, is just knowing what's going on. If I can understand what I'm doing, in the very least, I've got that advantage. No, there's, there's, there's no way I'm getting up there again. I want to get up to the top, because there's another valve that I can get to, but can I actually do that? Let's see if I can maybe move something else. Sure. I don't know what that achieves, though. Anything? Nothing, really. Emergency light. I can switch the emergency lights. Why? Is that maybe not a thing that I need to worry about right now? I turned off the first pipe. There's another way of turning off another pipe. I have a feeling that you just straight up can't. I'll ask if I actually, no, nah, I'll let you know. These are rhetorical questions. I say them so that way you guys know where I'm like thinking, where I'm thinking, what I'm thinking. Apparently not much if I'm saying where. Okay. Well, I can't, I can't reach anything from here. There's no reason to turn the valve on or off. Like, once it's off, it should stay off because it's the only way through. From here, the one steam vent is fine. The other one is, is just too much for it to get through. I can't have him on one of them. too far for him to be able to grab. That switch is too far. Distributing panel. Fuse box and distributing panel are too far and not the right shape. Like I have to get to this switch or this switch. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Lazy. Um, I'm enjoying it too. It's, it's, it's hard, but like, I feel like I can do it. I just, it's, it's one of those things that's like, it feels like the solutions on the tip of my tongue and I just can't do it, but I know I can, you know, like it's so close to, for me to be able to actually do this. I think the glove is just here for me to be able to move. I was stuck on this puzzle for half an hour on my first playthrough. All right, let's try and swap that one. And then see if that changed anything. Are you still dead? You're still dead. Okay. I'll straight up say, like, chat, give me the solution if I want it. Alright. So first up, trick this. That has to be off anyway. Turning it on and off is bad. There's no reason to do that. Like I'm gonna have to move yet another pipe 
or another switch to the off position. I can switch these. Why does it let me do that? It's not a timing thing. It's the same shape. I'm just saying, like, what does that achieve? I think the answer is nothing. Okay, this is the only wrong one. What if these two switch? Is that better? Is that good? God, I feel like I did this solution. Looks great. All the horrible steam is cleared out of the way. It's not too far. Try moving forward. I feel like that was the first thing I tried. Look up there, if I can just make it to that door. We can escape. How am I in the... Right, I, I, I got this, I got this. Missile, how can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? I think you just did. Let's go look for something to pull Miss Lynn up with. Yes, let's whisk... Right. We accidentally did this already, so we already know what the solution is. I say we as in I do. All right, cool. Easy. The big seam needed to be... Yeah. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. That's about to blow, isn't it? Oh, cool. Thanks. I'm glad it's catching up rapidly like this. That's some bullshit game. Sorry, I can't open it. Hurry. Is there any way... Is that any way to ask for something? Let me guess the, uh, the pipe will blast off or something. Uh, missile? You coming along? Is this part of the puzzle? No. Does it make me feel better? Yes. I'm gonna make sure that missile is nearby so that way he can escape too. It's no use. It won't budge. It must be stuck. Oh no. No game, don't fuck me like this. Don't you dare, don't you dare. This way. Oh, thank you. Yoink. Drowned. <sighs> what just happened? I can't believe my own eyes. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. Submarine continues to sink down, down to the deep, deep sea but I still try to make my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up. I try and find a single ray of light, a light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. Once we get to about two hours left in the game, let me know. Um, Cause I'd like to, I'd like to like not leave this where it's got like 30 minutes left. Um, Right now, now is the, the, the point where we're at the, I think it's already here. It's like here. You're about two hours from the end now. Well, I've only been streaming for an hour and 30. Um, all right, well, let's pause for a sec. Um, let's pause for a second and think about this. Maybe 30 minutes to an hour left. We might have to just finish it tonight. 
This is the final chapter. Is it possible to finish this tonight? Assuming that, like, I'm... Assume I'm as smart as I've been and I waffle about as much as I have been. You know? Very possible. Okay. You absolutely should do it tonight. Okay, cool. We're doing it tonight, then. It's happening. The upended submarine continues to sink, but slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them, but at the very last second, something saved them. Now looks down at them quietly. Natalie, if you feel like they need jail, first off, thank you for letting me know honestly how much time I have left. And also, like, let, you know, jail them if they need to be thrown in there. What is this jail you speak of? Emote only jail, where you can't actually type in case if, like, spoilers happen. Uh, it prevents you from being able to effectively communicate spoilers only. My head is only filled with one giant question. When the world is this thing? I think once we finish this, we're either going to do Phoenix Wright or Dognarampa 3. I'm probably going to skip Despair Girl. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh. Oh, what the shit? Is that the fake Sissel? Yeah, it is. Or I guess that's the real Sissel. He's like a Tin Man now. I see you managed to survive, detective. Y you're... Excuse my appearance, I seem to have lost my body. Like how he's got a cone still. Oh, and you there? You're the ghost that's been saving Lynn this evening, aren't you? You knew about me? You knew? Of course. What else could explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. He still has the shades, and he still has his, like, head shaped the right way. Like, that's pretty... Good on you for finding the right bits and pieces. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who am I? What do you want to bet? Who in the world are you? Okay, that's the other question. Sissel, look what I, look at you. What happens? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are? That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. And quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name's not Sissel. I bet you'll remember real soon who you are and who I am, too. What? The man in front of me is not me, and I'm even further away from the truth, or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to emerge. This might be... This might be a mode-only mode. I don't know. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. It seems like this might be, like, jail time. Yeah, see you guys in a minute. Oh, thank you, Natalie. They got us good. Uh, it's all over for this submarine. The engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hole... No, there's a hole in the hole. Is that an accent thing where I'm pronouncing that? Where they're almost exactly the same word? It's a sink it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? Yes, okay. I thought you had to deal with those people. Yeah, nay, nay. Hole? As in, like, I have a hole in my jeans. Or hull, as in... Um, the hull of a ship. Like, they sound very, very close. It's like two letters off, so fair enough. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. It's a Damisk fragment. 
Didn't even know how they figured it out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, the meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. These 10 years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. I think I've got some of it figured out. Meteorite's radiation gives sp spirits special powers, like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects? Exactly. Apparently, our, there are individual differences in the powers we get. It's called a stand. It seems to... These seem to... And it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah, and my powers have changed over these past 10 years. First, I can only manipulate small living creatures. Now, then how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day 10 years ago. In the Midwest, Hull is closer to Hall. Jesus, fuck, what? A fragment of the meteorite pierced my heart and I died. Yeah, that's still weird, but whatever. So of course I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. And then he fell in the hole. Aren't those Temesk fragments still right there in the park at the bottom of the crater? Right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite radiation too. So, okay, but we know the fake Sissel, this robot guy. I'm gonna call him Robot Sissel for now, or just whatever I feel like, Trash Sissel. Um, he was carrying the fragment and attempting to like do a deal in the junkyard in the beginning. And in doing so, um, I was nearby? I died at that point. I died controlling Sissel, I think. We'll figure it out. But that's how I was in the range of the radiation, I'm pretty sure. Another effect the meteorite radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. The fact that I can return four minutes before a person's death is another effect of this meteorite. One of the characteristics of the meteorite is the ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? This is so strange and confusing, I can't take it all- No, it's pretty straightforward, actually. It makes about as much sense as anything else to me. Yeah, right? Yeah, strange and confusing. That about sums it up, the object that pierced my body that day. And thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? A day when the fragment pierced my heart and I lost my life, however. Because it remained inside of me, the fragment continued to constantly re 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 regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between moments of to separate my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped 10 years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? So I simply existed, not really alive, not really dead. That's pretty much sums up the last 10 years of, for me uh, ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged today. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, an old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut the guy's body with the scalpel. So I guess as soon as the incision was made, the body would be regenerated. Wow. Before I left the country, I wanted to do one thing. Get rid Get revenge on the people who stole my life. Our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why he wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know. They had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everyone who had 
had to do with the Damisk. Detective Joad was one such person, so they're happy to cooperate. <coughs> ah. Inspector Cabanella and the junkyard super are slated to be wiped too. And as it turned out, I was one of their targets as well. They stole my Tames fragment, so, and here I am. But they had one more final target. Yeah, you, Lin, obviously. You, detective. Me? If you weren't in the park that day 10 years ago, Never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Yeah, I, okay. <sighs> if you want to know what victim blaming looks like. Okay, but I was just a little kid playing in the bar park. Yeah, I know. Huh? 10 years ago, you became a detective looking into Joad's case. Tonight I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. Okay. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day 10 years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. And then she pulls the gun of her own volition, I guess. Oh no took possession of you and made me you shoot me okay that's a confusing series of things to do to fake your own death by committing suicide with someone else's gun and hand and body your subconscious resisted me such incredible power it's the first time I was able to fully control someone aim was off First shot and it hits the mark. So what instead did you hit there? I assume that's the trick. The ghost trick. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. It was my plan anyway. Chad is just like Kappa. They had other ideas. They wanted to, they simply wanted to wipe you wiped out, but then something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. Might be good to say who I was. The main character? Not Sissel? I was supposed to meet up with them after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. The inspector and White was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. The inspector caused me no end of trouble. Why were those people targeting me? Because you knew anything about the Tomesk meteorite, maybe? I never even heard about the Tomesk meteorite. Because you were looking into the Joad case. They thought you'd find out about Tomesk sooner or later. Well, you did, but it was kind of their fault. Okay, guess that's the conversation. I uh, pretty much is and that is pretty much the whole story the only thing left to do now is wait for the water pressure to crush the submarine oh no there are no cores that link from here to the water surface I have an idea we hook up the phone line and there are no communication cables down this deep I meant for the submarine to be my coffin a coffin for the dead there's no escape it's really depressing that he has to not only be dead but also alive with other people who are dead, and then also he has to 
like, just live at the bottom of the ocean doing fuck all. See, this is the problem with being immortal. Sooner or later, you're gonna get stuck. It's what I've always said. If you become immortal, make sure you have some teleporting power as well, else you will get stuck under something. Like, the percentage chance of you getting stuck under a rock or something in your life, pretty low. Like, you know, one in a million, right? But if you live a million lifetimes, statistically, it's gonna happen, you know? I think I understand now. Where well, you must be feeling all these 10 years. I knew there was going to be a Dave emote eventually there. You what? This feeling cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Camilla, do you have ghost powers? Or something? Lynn? Camilla, is it true? Are we stuck in here? What? Oh, uh... Yeah. It's kind of the shape of a kid. If my dad... If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. That's funny. What is it, Sissel? Something I don't understand. Why would go? Why would they go through all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? They didn't just steal the Temesk fragment and escape. Why didn't they just steal the Temesk fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? That's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter no why now. Well, no, it does, probably. There's probably a good reason. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. No, we do. We do, yes, exactly. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. This will tell us where Detective Joe is. Didn't we, like, literally hear that it, like, launched them back to, like, Japan or some shit? That's a present from the Inspector in White. That's right. Detective Joe told me to hold it on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? But when did it get pushed out from, you know, whatever? Whatever, it's fucking video games. I thought the regeneration would, like, save him from bullet, you know? But apparently, as long as it can heal up, it's fine. So maybe it just hit a cavity, and there's no, like, meaty bits to, like, have to push it out from. So you could just, like, be filled with, like, random objects. As long as, like, it doesn't get in the way of him healing. Then we should be able to tell exactly where this is. But even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? Should be able to figure out something between the three of us. With our powers, right? Miss Lynn? Right. Wait a minute. What about that torpedo? The torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. Looks like Detective Joe is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Okay, what do we have access to? Okay, what do we do now? We gotta go find the command room that was launched somewhere into the sea. What? How? Just to let you know, I don't like water very much. According to Lynn, the key is our plan, or the key to our plan is a torpedo. It's kind of missile. Missile? You have a missile right here. No, 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 honey, no. I don't think she's talking about that kind of missile. Now, where do you see another torpedo? Uh, n nowhere? Let's make one happen. There we go. Oh, okay. And go ahead and ride that up. I don't know where this is going. Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? It looks like a private cabin for the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. That sounds heavenly. I've been thinking about this for a while now. But don't you think this country's use of technology is a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Oh, where is this going? All right. Well, I can't be anyone else right now, right? I mean, better not open this. That would 
the water would come gushing in, I bet. Yeah. Such a peaceful mood at the moment. No need to throw cold water on it. Well, I wouldn't go so far as call it peaceful. They are drowning. So there's that. Um... All right, control panel again, maybe? Uh, let's see if I can figure out anything from here. Okay, there we go. Dial phone. Torpedo room, sure. A torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left in there. I'll go check it out. I get it. You're going to use the missile to ram into the control room. I don't know if ram, but we don't want to blow up Detective Jode, but something like that. We'll have to climb up to the torpedo room, too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there, then. Okay, cool. So I don't actually have to bring everyone up there. That's cool. Oh, no, I do. Oh, no. They're just there now. Good. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched with the manu or can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes. So there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. Enter the n everyone's just like, you know what? Let's just let him have his fun. It's fine. Enter the coordinates of the command room or yeah. I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. Is it still moving? Because it might be hard to hit it. Also, how do you know how to video games? It's fine. I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try this. Good luck. All right, so then, uh, I assume there's extra dialogue by being able to, how's it going there? Just calculating the command room coordinates now. I have to put an o a slight offset though. I don't want to blow it up. I'm sure Detective Jode would appreciate that. Well, leave this to me. Good luck with loading that mission missile. Okay, thanks. What am I trying to do right now? The switch won't bug. Maybe it's broken? I don't think the entire device is broken though. It would probably work just fine if I could only move the switch. I just have to find a way to move it somehow. But I can't do it with my powers alone. I mean, I can move it, I just... Hey, missile. I don't know how that would work. What happened to these two ladies? I think that it's up to us, our powers. What? There's no use to be standing around. There's no time to be standing around, unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it. All right, so now I just move out of the way. And then missile switches them. I saw this earlier and I was like, that's a missile puzzle. When I was like, I would need Lin's help to do this. There we go. Got it. Easy. There we go. That torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end, too. Something's odd. What is? Command room. Looks like something... The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Looks like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happens. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay, hop onto the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. How um, how does this get them out? I've already set the torpedo's course. They'll head towards the command room where Detective Jode is. 12 seconds after launching, they'll pass by the command room for an instant. In that instant will be your opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. Then we'll have to find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back then. Okay, come on, missile. Missile? I, I'm sorry, I can't go. What? Just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Missile. I swap those switches so the missiles can be swatched or launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sizzle. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. Fair enough, dude. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn! Staying here won't change our fate. 
But if you go with Sissel, we might be able to make something happen, and it's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? We'll never be able to see you again, ever, ever again. You can't... Even I can understand that. But I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I just know that you and Sissel will make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be waiting right here for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla! Okay, so he just did her of his own volition. That's cool. That's a good boy, Missile. Now, are you ready? Remember, 12 seconds after I throw the switch. We're ready now. Why, why are you letting me know that it's exactly 12 seconds? Are shenanigans afoot? Shenanigans are afoot. Sissel? Yes? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is that I truly am glad that I met you tonight. Thank you. Thank you tonight for everything. I'm glad I met you too, Detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, Missy? Or Sissy? Right, Missile? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you, no matter how it happens. Here goes, then. Good luck, friend. Yeah, you can't just, like, load someone into a tor that torpedo tube. I was thinking about that. Like, maybe these 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of the way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, 12 seconds are up. Isn't that still gonna collide sideways? Like, that still seems bad for it. Detective Jode! I bet that big masked man did this. I'm going to bite him. You better not. You might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and is sinking. So I wonder what that masked man is going to do. Let's talk to De Detective Jode. Yeah. Wait a minute. Sissel's body had a thing too? Sorry for the wait, Detective Jode. Who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. Can't believe you made it here. How's Camilla? What about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jode everything that happened on the submarine Yona. The submarine is badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? Wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You! You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been 10 long years, Detective Jode. Remember that time you killed me? That was fun. Are you? Yamil? Uh, what? Is that the real Sissel's name? So you remember me, do you? How could I pro- why, why the fuck was everyone going along with that name? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name? Yamil? Yum, Yamiel? Yeah, that's not happening. That's right. Those people on the Yona, they were calling you Sissel. It's because it was an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't actually... I didn't see any need for them to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jode? Right. Why do you know things? I'm gonna get some water real quick. My throat is killing me. Mouth's dry. something to drink so we don't die let's do this thing right ask you about yamil yo 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 miel yo miel yo miel okay 10 years ago 
You were the top systems engineer. Weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It's a project to organize, reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal is to build a new system to use multi-dimensional programming theory. <sighs> All right, then. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. Doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. Is it, to me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However... project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime that nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought that for the life of me, I'd have to ever deal with spies. It... Now, now hold up, man. Your job was to reorganize how the government had its secrets stored, and you never thought you'd have to deal with spies? Kind of, kind of a dumbass. I was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. This guy who built the core of the system. Police arrested you, and then that incident happened. The incident. The thing that happened. He escaped the interrogation room, and then the, took, the, took little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jode, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. So sorry, yo mio. Real motives for Agent Finch? Ten years ago. Alright. My soul was split in my body, from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I exist in a world, no question about that. But nobody even noticed my presence. What good were my powers if they didn't help anybody? Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. And in fact, it only made it worse. I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Slowly sinking towards the end towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And all I wanted, I, and I wanted all of you to suffer for what I was suffering. And that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was the twisted wish of my mind, poisoned with infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. The deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would have been very valuable to them, but... What would you get out of the deal? A new life. A life? I asked them for er, two conditions. Number one, they would help me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, huh? I didn't care if it was a fake life or an artificial life. Which one a physical receptacle for my soul? A name, an entity, and an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked from them. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew I'd have to take... I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. So I decided to ask the nation, or national government to help me. And their response in the end was betrayal. I mean, you know. Um, 
There are mistakes. There are moves. There are more mis making their moves. They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. I read that wrong like three times. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Tamask was all about. And you had no idea how they were doing all this. Not at all. I was a fool. So then, why did you go through the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk of Tamask from meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incident, research was conducted on this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manip yeah, about the source of the manipulator's power. By Inspector Cabanella, the old pigeon guy, and the old pigeon guy. At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then, they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? It looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there all the time. That guy? That guy's got a gun? Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy was one of them. No, not one of them. He's just a plain old odd person. Oh. A park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal its domestic fragment. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they were working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the meter to misc meteorite. So that's it. So the upshot of your grand deal was this. Yeah, this is the ending I deserve. But in the end, there's only one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You managed to steal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bring Detective Jode back to life, of course. What? What good will it do now? Well, we promised. We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them. We can't do that without you, Detective Jode. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go, then. Back four minutes before your death. Give me a, a yeah in chat if this is the uh, the last puzzle. I guess there's no point in asking that, is there? So, where are we headed? We're not headed anywhere, detective. What? Nay? Oh, okay. There's only enough fuel on board to launch us away, detective. We will run out soon, and this will be and that will be our destination, detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you trapped you're trapped in here too. Robot? Yep, robot. By the way, I'm not human. Alright then. I'm a computer controlled robot, detective. What? Are all the blue people robots? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Why would you go to all this trouble to do this? There's nothing that, but a shell there anymore. Or, there's, that's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detective. This is actually probably going to end up screwing them over in the end. Possibility. What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, Detective. Oh, that's a gun. Now it's time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same as it seems, Detective. Camilla, forgive me. Oh, fuck. Alright then. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what the big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility? In other words, there must be some chance in here somewhere possibility of turning the situation around what if you got it back into your own body S y Yamil or whatever your name is it's very confused you're not Sissel I'm not Sissel no one's Sissel it turns out huh what is it detective look at Yamil's shell 
There's no aura emitting from his body. Of course there isn't. The mess fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Yeah, I think it, it would. Can I go back four minutes before your death? Is that a thing? I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small it is, that they might be afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Tomesk. His body cycled between- Yeah, because he's he just died, according to his body. Exactly. His body cycled between the moments but that- Yeah. Right, but not anymore. The Tomesk fragment has been taken away. Exactly. So what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Tomesk fragment was removed, my body became a regular corpse. So let's see, that means we can go back? We can go four minutes back before your own death? But wait a minute, what exactly, when is that death? 10 years ago in four minutes? We'll find out. When we get there, let's move. Sure, I guess. Yeah, I guess if he can die now, then he's dead. So you can go back four minutes before his death, which is before the meteorite hit him. I fall back through the cracks of time. It seems like forever. And then I saw it. A final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to, sh uh, to the truth starts now. This is the last puzzle. Okay. That was sort of a puzzle. Yeah, this would have been a shitty place to stop. If I had stopped like 30 minutes ago, that would have been a really bad stopping point. Because this would have been like a short stream and we had played like Minesweeper for like two hours. <laughs> so when was Yamil's death? It was 10 years ago when Tomes Meteorite fell. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of his death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. <laughs> it's ready. What are you even doing? Hold it. Get up. Do you really think you can outrun me? And she didn't get a good look at him. Let's just drop it. Drop that. Calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I mean, your gun's pointed the wrong way to do that. Cat. Oh, kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Cat. Yeah, I don't know how you go back four minutes before that. Dead. Yeet. Yeet. <coughs> Fuck. I swear I'm all right. I just got like a, a cough thing going. Are you okay? You're all right. You're all right now. Are you hurt? You saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. Killing innocent people. The gods, they're the ones who served, saved you. What's your job, mi mister? Uh, me? I'm a detective. A police detective. So that's the Tomesk meteorite, huh? It's beautiful looking at this angle. Changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Tomesk from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jode? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If the meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. 
We might not be able to change your fate of dying. We gotta give it a go, at least. I can accept that. Well, no, that's kind of a problem. Lots of people died. Lots of innocent people died because of this. Like, that's gonna be the only way we're getting him out of the submarine. And saving his wife. That's kind of an unintentional side effect of doing this, really. But that's pretty rad, too. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, the fact will never go away. If it is my fate to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against that fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. Alright. Now how are we going to save you? If Lynn would just wander off somewhere, it would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready, she's not going to budge from that spot. You know, it makes me... That's what she's doing? A little girl all alone in a park, listening to music, roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? Doesn't everyone at least have one day in their life like that? Give her a break. Anyway, I guess she was homeless? Maybe? Her clothes seem too nice for that. Anyway, if Lynn won't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to move the fragment, make the fragment move instead. Alright, what do we got access to? Lynn? Lynn? Lynn. Headphones. Right, okay. But she's died, so sure, surely we'd be it, but... No? Okay. Okay, we don't really need to talk right now. There's nothing I can really switch with, it looks like. Maybe if we knock that over? I don't know. Let's go back to him. Wait a minute, I saw something else I could jump to. What is that? Another nozzle. If we could switch the nozzles, that'd be good. But I don't think that's it. Alright, what else can we do? We can't really go from here. So I guess that means that time's just gotta pass. If I can't move anything, then that's usually the solution. It's ready! I thought she had like a plunger or something. What do we got here? What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you don't eat, you even forgot what a sweet potato is? It's a roasted, a roasted root vegetable. It's good. It's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious. These guys are sure making me want to try one. Okay. So we could cause, Hearing damage. Stay back. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. It really startled her. It made her even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food too. Anyway, at least her fate has been changed, albeit ever so slightly. That's that's what we're calling fate change now. All right, cool, thanks. All right, we can rock this and. I assume that'll make it look like um, headphones now. Yeah, we'll we'll try that. Okay. People are aiming guns at each other. Nozzle, sweet potato, basket. Okay, we can spray water. I don't think that'll achieve anything. And I don't think we can go up enough to make that be anything. The sweet potato's in the water. That's kind of the sh Oh, hold up. Hold up now. I have an idea, but it's dumb. I need to have a gun emote. Really? I think I do. We could combine rev feet. We could just give Quentin Tarantino a gun. I'm just looking at Limes' like, gun emote and I'm like oh, that's a that's a good emote I should get that 
feel like that's confusing and stupid for no reason. Oh, look at that sweet potato. Now's not the time. And there's that big, scary sweet potato. It's not a sweet potato missile. That's Mino. Oh, right, of course. But it looks like it's pointed... But it look at them, the potato and Mino. Right now, they both have the exact same shape. So what we're saying is we can swap them. Good idea, missile. All right, here we go. I'm gonna need your help. My help? Yeah, you're gonna have to... Surely that... Oh, um... I guess spray again. That doesn't seem... Okay, uh... Fuck. Alright, so it's gotta be this, then. Hey, Limes. We're having to do it spoiler free, yeah. Cause, uh, I don't trust him, so Emoto Leon. I don't know. Please don't do that. Just thought it might wake her up. Even if you did, you wake her up. What good would that do at this moment? You're the only one who needs to wake up, Sissel. This little doggy does say some pretty smart things sometimes. Arguably smarter than, uh, you know, her. So there's that. Um, so I can spray. That I, he needs my help, but I need to be able to get it closer. Yeah, I, I assume we're going to find out something in about five seconds here that are going to completely spoil this game. So, like, if you want to jump out right now, I mean, I've spoiled all of the puzzles of the game so far for you. So a little late, but, you know, now would be the time to dip. The me mega mystery. Who is not Cecil? Um probably gonna be a thing here soon. I have a screw loose. Where did this screw come from? Who knows? Hopefully it's not important. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't really have access to anything. With with, It's gotta be... Okay, Sissel has to do something. Let's just keep rocking. I got nothing else. Okay, what? It's about time for that meteorite to come down. We're gonna have to change the fragment's path somehow. Looks like both the paths and fates can be difficult things to change. There has to be a way. We work together, you and me. I thought we'd be able to do something. Thought? That's funny. I wonder why he's using the past tense. This roasted sweet potato. What in the world is this thing? Okay. That's not it. Rock, spray, I can't really, I mean, just keep rocking? I mean, that just knocks the potato out, but. Okay, can I switch and then maybe, I? because what I need to do is I need to get Mino in the way of the, the thing. Right? Can I, yeah, that's not, I, I screwed it up. Mino, if he's up in that lantern, then we're fine. It's, yeah. This is going to be our grand finale. I think that's the trick. Get Mino up on top of the lantern thing. Hopefully this is not like a super precise puzzle, because that would suck. Oh, oh? Oh? That was kind of disappointing. Maybe the timing was a little off. I didn't think I could fuck that up. I thought that was like an unfuck up -able.
No, no though. No. But I It's too late now, yeah. I can't. Yeah, it's too late. Alright. Alright. I don't think I can I'm gonna try this a couple more times, but I think I have the right idea. Okay. It's not right. It's not right, though. It's just a little bit out of range. Ah. Uh. All right, what else is in the area? Nothing. This is it. It's just the potato. So maybe I'm doing this wrong. I have to be doing this wrong. No way that can they expect that level of like precision from you. I don't know if that's nay, you're doing it wrong or nay, you're, you know, you're doing it right. I mean, the sweet potato can be a bullet in a minute, but I think that would still kill him on impact. Maybe because it's roasted, it will like, like splatter and it won't kill him. But well, that might just make it like a hollow point. All right, what do I have access to? Let's let's do the run over again. Sweet potato can't do anything with it. Headphones can turn them up, but that doesn't help. Basket I can rock doesn't help. Spray the nozzle. I think we're past the point where that does anything. Um, and that's all that Sissel can activate. Okay, cool. Back over to him. We can get some nozzles. We can't switch anything, because everything's out of range. Everything's just out of range. There's no way to increase the nozzle. This is a nozzle as well. If I can get to that one, I could increase the pressure and push the thing up. How do I get to that one? All right. I'm gonna try something. I'm pretty sure it's wrong. It's not gonna go through, is it? Okay. But I can get over there now. Spray higher. All right. All right, you know what? We'll try this. Okay, so if I could get there I think I got it now. I had to work backwards, but I got it. A lot of it has to do with the fact that Sissel just does not have the range to do what he needs to. So you have to kind of like, you know, plan accordingly. And that's, that's the trick right there. And then, um, he has range to be able to get to it from there. Yeah. Okay, cool. There it is.
There it is. There it is. All right. Here we go. No, that's not. Okay. I don't think this will work. Um, is this going to be big enough to be in the way? I feel like it needs to go through that lamp post. So now we can do it. Okay. That's going to cause some problems. Yeah. Oh, look. The lamp post is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. Really is a wonder that it hasn't snapped. It might hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Damisk Fragment Shatter smashed through the glass of the lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in the way... And fate should change. Oh, oh, you want more from me? Oh, why do you want more from me? What do you want from me, game? Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you want from me, game? Oh, that's not good. All right. Um... Let's just hope that it doesn't want more through me. It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry about it, Missile. I think we're ready for it. Look at what's right in the way the fragment's path. Oh, okay. That giant sweet potato. If anything can get it in... If anything can get in its way, surely that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway. Now the fragment's path ought to change. Hopefully this is right. It seems right. This is what I've been trying to do for the last little bit. So hopefully this is right. There, how's that? Look, the fragment's course. It changed a little. And now, Miss... And now, yo, yo meals? Fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it changed, what's in its path? In its path? No! right in the dick. He's fine. Detective Jode! To mess fragment shot right through his leg. Oh, his leg. Okay. What? But in a cruel twist of fate, things weren't over yet. Come on, put it down. Jode, put the gun down now. If you don't, you're gonna shoot him. Oh no. It's his training detective or what? Or his detective training or what? But even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! Oh, fuck. No! I knew it. This truly is my fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen. Potato! The bullet stopped midair. I'm here, just inside the bullet. Now let's swap it with something. What? How, th how the fuck did you get over there, dude? Detective Joe, the meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't the true, isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. It must be something that's the same shape. Yes. Yeah, no, I figured that one out a minute ago. Easy. Blop. Oh, oh, is he impaled now? Oh no, we stopped the bullet, but we still could save him. It's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. That seems really bad for you, though. Okay, so your fate of your death has changed, but still, fate is too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we overlooked one thing. The wheels of fate were slowly turning. Oh, fuck. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! <gasps> Damn it, my leg won't work. It's all over. We're out of time. Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. But there isn't anything to swap it with. Why don't we just let it play out? We'll try and find out another way. No! <laughs> Even if she dies, all we have to do is possess her corpse. We can redo the last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death won't be erased. 
but her memory of it will remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let that happen, not if I can help it. But what can you do now? Even if we work together. I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Sissel and I do? Nothing. I can do it. Don't forget, I'm here too. I knew it. With three kinds of powers amongst us, we might be able to fight the odds of this battle. The battle against the fate of death. Yo, yo, Mill. Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. All right, I'll try it. Now gather your strength and make it a spray as if your life depended on it. I'm already dead, though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. And remember... You only have a split second. Got it. Uh, okay. Now it's your turn, missile. What me? But what can I, the thing you've been doing the whole time? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, I got it. You can swap them. A the hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But even if I can swap them, it's still right above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. Sure. That's still not comfortable. <laughs> it happens again. It's no use. We can't stop the horrible Mino. What can we do? I don't see how gaining a second or two has helped. Oh, it helped, all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn? You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean? That's right. I'm gonna save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Yeet. Dead. Ye gods. You're awake. He's still gonna blame himself for that, right? Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky that it wasn't a fatal hit. The main thing is that you're not hurt. You saved me, mister. Just doing my job. The gods, they're the one... You, who saved you? What's your job, mister? I'm a police detective. Is he okay? Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But... What's that? It's the detective's badge. We give it to children who have been very brave. The detective's badge? Now it's not- now it's, someone's dying. Thanks. Okay. You know what to do, little detective. If someone's dying, can you- <laughs> Can you get on that shit? <laughs> Are you alive? Yeah, sadly. Hang on, help's a coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. As, as if someone else was controlling me. He was... Okay, so technically you were unconscious being possessed by yourself. Which is just... Yeah. I see. But you know, I'm glad it happened. Kitty. Hey, um, did you call the cops? Hey, mister. I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it. I saw it just a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. It's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor little kitty. How about I take it to my house and look after it? 
you like to come with me, little kitten? It's... Cat. Kitty. Well, be fucked up if that was me. Looks like his face changed just a bit in a big way. Whose face? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. Your what? These long, lonely ten years. You were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Cat! Ghost cat! Old friend! I think. I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak, alone in this world. Wait, I don't understand anymore. What? I guess I... Oh, okay. It's just like how he died for reals, and then we went back in time from there. It wasn't until he actually died for reals. Because he's like... Im okay, I'm just going to watch. Somebody please look at me. Huh. Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Please, somebody please reach out a hand to me. I had just only died at the time. I would lost everything, my life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I had managed to reach out a hand to him. Even in death, the cat must be pet. My soul was transferred into the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was. I lived as a cat with you for a while. After a while, the man regained his memory and went ta and I went back to just being a cat. And then the man got his body back. So I still died at the beginning of the game, but it just so happened that like by doing this, like it saved his wife, it saved the cat's life. So the cat's okay now, so I'm okay now, so I'm alright. I didn't and it doesn't break any of the rules of the universe where it's like, oh well, you can't stop your own death. Neat. I took my, my body from the morgue. There was just somebody I had to go see. Just one more time. Took control of my body and hurried you over to her house. But I was just a little too late. I just missed her as she left this world. Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomel. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important that he had lost long along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once. I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years ago were very happy or those ten years were very happy for me. But they weren't happy for the man. There was nothing I could do for him. For 10 years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I can only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then after a while, I can manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted artificial light. So the first bullet misses and the cat's in the bag. When I got my revenge on Lynn, I would see that light, or at least that's what I tried to believe.
Yeah, that's what that's what we missed and hit. There it is. That first shot was super important. That first shot's the only reason this game happens. I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. The black cat. I was possessing Sissel then. I wouldn't look very much like a murderer. I wouldn't look very much like a murderer if the corpse got up and walked away after all. You borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside the bag that I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind when I, this country when behind in this country when I left. But then when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? Yeah, I'm not okay with this game. Like, you can you can kill as many gangsters as you want. As soon as you start hurting cats and dogs, I'm not alright. Uh, I was completely in control of her. Completely. So, actually, no. Wait a minute. Lynn did kill me. The first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there, in the presence of the Tamisk radiation. I kind of pieced it all together. And that's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why I was the only one who couldn't get his memories back. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse that I could see at the time after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. Yeah, just my body walked off. The true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Huh. Now that I think of it, do you remember what I said? or what you said, that you knew all along about saving Lynn tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try and stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't even if I wanted to. Why not? Remember that thing about the individual differences in powers we get? I can control all sorts of things from living to the dead. But even so, there's some things that you can do that I can't. You mean, I can't rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Aww. Not only that, but I never would have let my fiance stay dead like that. But you're here 10 years in the past now. It's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. I'm glad the, the cat's okay. In any case, now that the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate, and I bet you can bait and and I can just bet you the fate of the woman you loved has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So that was the last fate to be averted, huh? So you mill. It looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad too. I think I kind of understand now what you must have been feeling these 10 years. She understood. She shed tears for me. And that's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new 10 years later was just born. Right? We should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla all over again. So these past 10 years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us will here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way the Game of the Dead works, huh? No matter the, what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and I tried to point a gun at her. 
I mean, he never actually pointed the gun at the child, uh, despite what he was saying. I have no intention of running away from that either. The most excu inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel. Yes? When you get back, our fates will be no longer interconnected. It would be like we never met. So before that happens, I just want to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm tr truly sorry. It's already a thing of the lost past. Our faiths have changed now, right, Yamil? Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad to meet I met you. Me too, Yamil. Sissel? Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths will are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Um, been a bit since the game hurt me like this. Sissel, I'll, I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you've come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home? That sounds good, Detective Jode. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now we're going back to our own new present. We say goodbye to the parts of our stories that we would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Wait. Before you go back to the new present, I wanted to thank you. Lamp? Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray. And in case uh, if you have forgotten again, thank you for everything. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I really am grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know. Who exactly are you? Sissel? Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you another version of tonight's events. You changed the fate of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. Dead. Yeah, we didn't save that guy. That's not him. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot in the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what would you have supposed would have happened? Let me tell you a story. A story of a little creature. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. They stole the wooden box in the ceiling, hiding. Wait, so he, wait, Sissel was there for that? I guess this is an alternate version. They stole a wooden box from the ceiling, hiding place, and left. And in the process... Two dead bodies were left behind. However... The little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paws towards his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that! The powers of the dead? But how? He didn't really understand himself, not yet anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute! Oh, right! Because he was in vicinity of Sissel. What the fuck? That's right. 
He died inside of the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his old mistress. There was just wasn't anything he could do. He could only swap... Only had the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. Hi, Abby. I'll get it out for you in a minute. I'm playing a video game. It's the it's the it's the cliffhanger bit. Not really a cliffhanger, but the important. What? Abigail! I'll get it for you in a minute, dude. Her toy got it stuck under the fridge. <laughs> oh, it's hers? Yeah. He took off his bandana? Yeah. Poor man. He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until the night came again. And then the other version of the story tonight. A story that had taken these ten years to be retold. So it was you. Alternate timeline? What? That's right, I'm Missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. But you couldn't change the fate of those people on your own. So you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. And then at last, the fateful night rolled round again. But you had figured out how to manipulate objects? But this time I had grown old and my powers were weak, so I decided I'd find somebody to help me around this time. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second! You were able to manipulate that death lamp! Over the course of long years, my powers changed. The ability to swap objects weakened. I became able to manipulate small objects. But in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the old man in, or watching the man in red, I found out that there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could. Like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power, especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How much did you know about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before, on that night, the first time round. We what? We met before? From listening to the conversation of the two intruders in the apartment, I had learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard at the edge of town. I followed the ghost world path to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there's a swiveling, twisting, a uh, twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end, I'll tell you. That was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. Oh god, what? This is way more confusing than it needs to be. You had lost your memory that time too. You just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I just wanted to find my own lost memories. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what she said. And then you disappeared. And then I had to do that shit again. It says 20 years I had to wait. Away over the phone lines. God damn, that sucks. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, I'd use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? Yeah, you're alive again. Remember that? The only thing you could you were interested in finding was finding your own lost memories. If I could guide you along the right path 
to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red named, uh, in the man in red, Yamel. What? I gave you the information that you needed to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. So that was a lie? And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. And if that happened, it would have been all over. Okay, fair enough then. Then you mean, I think about ceasing to exist? Oh, yeah, I completely made that up. A little naughty of me, I know. But I just wanted to use your time wisely. Oh boy. I hate to admit it, but this really, this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. Fair enough. Honestly, I didn't call that one. Now it's time to say farewell. The past 10 years, I, these past 10 years, I will cease to exist and with them, so will I. Missile, I believe in you. I always knew you could do it. And you, so you did. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these 10 long years, all for the sake of two ladies, Lynn and Miss Camilla, huh? Of course, because I knew that's what doggies do. Now farewell, Sissel. And so the story came, the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody else knew what happened that night. I made my way back, back to a new present. How come it's dark? I'll just turn on the lights in here. Fucked up if she gets shot again. Were you surprised? You bet I was. I nearly you nearly scared me to death. It worked. It's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made the surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. That's right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? That's a that's a stretch. Really? Thank you, Detective Joan. Dad, you're home. Hey, Camilla. Uh, let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was assigned to be the detective division today. Hey, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is there something wrong? You have one of those badges, too? Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad gave it to me the other day. Your yours looks a lot older than mine, though. How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, it's the symbol of a real detective. Are you fucking with me? Hey, um... Is it cool if we let chat out of, uh... Out of jail now? Who would have guessed that you'd actually become a detective one day? I thought you were just stupid. And it turns out you can actually do things. When you gave me this badge, I knew. Thank you, Luigi guy. I was actually more asking. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, huh? Now, and now that I know I'm a detective, I'll find out what that destiny will lead me. That you will, that you will. And don't tell me you're the same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? It's a very special cat. Ten years old, and he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? Yep, he, not, he never got any bigger or anything. Ah, it's a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. Seems that I've heard that name before somewhere, or... 
I think Cecil likes you, Lynn. Your mom, of course, is not dead. All right, everyone, let's start the celebration. Okay, mom. I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow too. Now that I'm out of jail, I can say, counting Lynn as one, Sissel saves exactly nine lives of people. Fucking hell. If you count Lynn as one. That one single nine is a human. Their fates, their lives, all interconnected. Somehow, somewhere, in some way. And now, this is my new fate. Immortal Kitten. So I guess I got knocked unconscious. Well, technically, I guess really I am a cat. Suits me to just find a curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives be as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for a while. Yeah, um... Yeah, fuck you for making me feel things. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Like I said, it isn't my birthday. No, I know that feel. There's Missile. Hey Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together. Maybe we can be a great detective just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of inspector proving example is he providing for his men? Love you. Okay. You can go do your own thing. You're gonna be a sperm in, baby. That's fine. Here's your food, gentlemen. What are you doing here? I heard you were gonna be picking up some members for the Special Investigations Unit today. So you took on the part-time job here again? You have no idea the links I would go to reach my goals. Memory. Ah, uh, yeah. Caldella, wait a minute. Like, Inspector? Has your name literally been that for fucking 19 months and I didn't put that together? Is that literally, is that it? I just put that together. Holy fuck. He has four tails. It's not an animation error. Okay, good. He deserves four tails, because he is four tails. Good dog. I was kind of thinking that, that one guy you know. It would not be a difficult cosplay. Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed all the instructions. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Are you sure it was 20 kilograms? And not less. Wait a minute. 20 kilograms? 
I thought it was 20 grams. Yeah, this changed a significant number of people's lives. Actually, Sissel... No, wait. Yamel did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> this game is really well animated. Um, this, this game did not get enough love. I skipped it up until chat was like, you should play it. Um, and that was wrong. That was the wrong thing to do. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas what you could give me? You must have heard some juicy stories, some the indiscretions of a minister. Now, now, you mustn't talk that way in front of our darling angel. Here's to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. Um, I didn't enjoy the ending where it hurt me. That wasn't okay. Well, I mean, I honestly, um, for a while there, I was asking for suggestions from chat. I'm catching up on those suggestions now, so, you know, not really taking more until I finish it, but, you know, um, that's how we came to this game in the first place. I think my, uh, my thing is under the thing here, but it's either Dungarampa or, uh, something else. This game made me cry like a baby when I first played. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit. I don't know. Um, there's this new horror game that came out. Uh, it's like black and white, old timey look. Um, please stop the park. What? I didn't catch all that. Um, so then I got um, 999 uh, World of Horror. Yeah, World of Horror is on the docket as just because that one looks fun to me. Um, as is Dongarampa and um, 999. Um, I don't know. Let me know, like, any way that you could let me know what you guys think. And uh, Thursday, we will be probably doing that. I mean, I guess we could do it tomorrow. I don't know. Phoenix Ride is also on that list. I might want to stop, like, stand away from a few puzzle games for a bit. Just, just fuck. You know? But 999 I've already played through once, and I feel like I know what the correct answer is. I'm going to have to find that list of other games. I thought I saw it, but it was a different sticky note. My desk is just covered in sticky notes. It's around here somewhere. Um, Hollow Knight, Dogner Rampa 3, Ghost Trick, Outer Worlds, Long. Thank you for the 100 bits, Hectic Harlequin. Uh, thank you for playing this again. So happy you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to play Ace Attorney, all the main series are available on 3DS, eShop, along with the trilogy and a collection of the first three games. If you love Ghost Trick, you'll love, uh, thank you, Hectic Harlequin. Oh, he's in jail now, doing the same bullshit. It's great. Ten young years, Yamil. Your time's up today. The lady who always comes to visit is waiting for you outside. I beat the first Ace Attorney when I was a kid, like when it first came out, more or less, but it's been a minute. Thank you, Sissel. Uh, outer... I think I put down Outer Worlds. I don't know. 
got a bunch of sticky notes here. I'll try and find that sticky note that has like the ones that chat really wanted me to do. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. He's thinking his fiance, not the cat. Oh yeah, I guess the fiance matters too. But cat. I mean, considering he painted the cat, I don't know. That was a good ending. I'm gonna go cry. Yeah, fair enough. Go cry. Um, yeah, today, th this was a game. I'm gonna check and see if there's any art. Um, that was a good game. I hope you enjoyed it, because I fucking did. Um, like I said, the, the ending kind of, kind of hurt. Um, kind of hurt a lot. <laughs> kind of hurt a lot, a lot. Um, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, I wasn't expecting that at all. I'll, um, give me, give me a second. Give me a second and I'll, uh, pull up the art. I know there's at least one new piece of art. Then there was something, okay, there was something that someone posted on Twitter. I don't know if I've got permission to show it, but, like, it's fucking good, though. It's really good. Um,. Where is it? B-Socket did it. I want to show this because it's fucking adorable. Um, I hope this is okay for me to show on stream, but it's so good. Um, I make this a new screen thing and then uh, this a new thing. Um, B-Socket posted a thing on Twitter and I'm going to show it because it's adorable. Um... Yeah, I think I'll go double check that art you did of uh, the the art of. I was thinking about that with Herman. Um, anyway, uh, art, 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 and then I'll host someone. If anyone's live, let me know. Um, then I know anyway. All right. So we got this first one from 19 seconds respawns times, and it says, "Apologies for being so late with this joke, but my consumption of your content is exclusively through Twitch vods." Well, hello. In, in the future. Um, also, please put chat on screen for after hours so it doesn't disappear um, after. Okay. I mean, I get why, but the problem is that some... I tried it with Homestuck, and um, it was definitely a bad thing. It was a bad thing. There were, uh, there were problems with people um, saying things and doing things, and I think that it's rife for that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I'm still very much on the fence about whether or not that's a good idea or not. Um... The times that I've done it, it seemed like a bad idea. I understand what you're going on about, though. I don't know. Uh, you were momentarily afforded a peace of mind to resume a dull, quiet life of semi-restrained murder. Maybe you'll wait here a while and see if... Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was like, wait a minute. That's a JoJo meme. Yeah. Um, And then I want to show you guys this one as well, because it's fucking good. Uh, it's from B... Uh, B socket and it's of Herman and Abby and this is like a hundred percent their personality like Abby is always like on like just and, and the eyes the eyes are perfect for both of them it's so good cute as fuck it's cute as fuck um, I'm gonna go back and actually check that art of um I'm going to have to go back a few. It's actually quite a while. God, I've gotten so much good art for Town of Nowhere. Um, holy fuck. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go um I'm going to go hug my cats in a minute here once I look at this art. Um it's somewhere in this region. Uh, where is it? search ghost trick right right because that's the thing you could do you could search ghost trick and find it right 
Um, oh, it's technically spoilers, but it's oh, it's clever. Oh, it's clever. You did, mm. Vin Vader. You. It's foreshadowing because I didn't get that it was spoilers, and no one pointed out that it was spoilers. Mm. That's good. That's sneaky. That's sneaky as fuck. Alrighty. Alright then. Alright. Alright, alright. Bastard. It's good. It's good though. I like it. I like it now that I understand it even more. Um. Alright, well, um, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and do uh, that. I'm gonna go hug my cat now and talk to my wife. And, uh, and, and just hug my cat because I need to continuously hug my cat for a bit. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next. Um, it's going to be one of those games. I'm going to have to find my list of games. I know it's in here somewhere. I know I have a list of games that people recommended. I just don't know where the fuck they went. I'll find them. Um, I know Dog and Romp is on it. I know Outer Worlds is on there. I know, um, Stanley Parable is on there. I know uh, a couple other games are on there. I had a really good time with this. And I hope you guys did too. This is a good game. Obviously, I kind of spoiled it. Uh, it's kind of a one through thing. But uh, add Outer Worlds, Oberdin, Outer Worlds, uh, and Outer Wilds. I see. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. I'm gonna raid uh, Mike so that way you guys can get some points for Town of Nowhere. Again, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. There's thing.